This part of the calculation is to find the Ka at the midpoint. And so you prop might already know that pH equals pKa at the midpoint. You can go straight to there if you know that. If for some reason you don't get that, let me take you through a little derivation of where that comes from. So we have this reaction, the acid plus the base goes to the conjugate plus water. We're starting out with a certain molarity of the acid and zero of the conjugate. To the midpoint, we're going halfway there. So if we're going halfway there, we're losing half of it. And thus, we're gaining that same amount on the other side. And so that a whole minus a half, we're left over with half of what was originally there for the acid. And then we're gaining, so we get the same amount for the base. So notice at the midpoint, this better be true. The concentrations will now be the same. Here's the Ka equation for the general equation for the acid. Not this equation, but the general equation. That's where Ka comes from. And so you see we have products over reactants. If these two concentrations are the same, they drop out of the equation. So we're just left with the H3O plus concentration, because notice they're both M over 2. And so now Ka is just the H3O plus concentration, which is, if you work backwards from the pH, 10 to the minus pH. We know the pH at the midpoint. You measure that. That's 4.75. And so if you just plug that in, in this case, we got 1.78 times 10 to the minus 5. And there's K.